I just received today my uh, Spectrum Sky Remote ID module. Uh, I ordered this uh, mainly to be able to fly uh, where there is no uh, fryer that is defined and uh, also to be able to have access to uh, GPS data that is included in the uh, Spectrum Sky Remote ID. Uh, so it's very very small unit should be able to fit in every kind of plane uh, there is a serial number on the side that is uh, what you need to add to your FAA account I'll show that later a piece of velcro and five leads so you coming from the simplest here uh, if you want to hook to a standalone battery a servo connector so you can plug that into whatever receiver or also to uh, it's compatible with the, with your spectrum receivers that is equipped with SR XL2 connection this is the uh, female plug for the programmer a regular 3 pin for micro receiver and the standard X bus for the current receiver. So, for example, on this receiver, an 8020T, I'm gonna plug either on the X bus on that side, on the SR XL2 on this side, or I could be also plugging it into that SR XL2 port using the servo uh, connector. When it's connected to your XBus port here in this case, uh, and you're powering on the receiver, you will see that the LED is blinking, which is meaning that the uh, Spectrum Sky Remote ID module is seeking for GPS signal. It will be still flashing until you have acquired proper GPS signal. Then it will the LED will be solid orange. On the telemetry side, on your radio, you will have all the function of the receiver altitude here, plus this time the GPS screen uh, with speed, altitude, heading, and distance uh, that it's also transmitting you know, under Bluetooth long range. If you're not uh, being able to display that GPS screen, might be that your radio need uh, to be upgraded to the latest firmware, or that your receiver might need it to be upgraded to the latest firmware. For doing that, you will be using that programming cable. The reference is SPMA 3065. And once you're on the correct version, the GPS screen will be displayed on, on your radio. So here is the website that you're gonna need to log in. So fa drone zone accessfagovernor If you have already an account, you can just log in. Otherwise, you're gonna need to create an account. Once you're logging in, you will see here your dashboard, or you can add that drone owner and pilot. So we're going to open the dashboard. We're going to click on Manage Device Inventory. And this is where you're going to see your inventory. So here you have one model that has no remote ID. And you have here another model that has already my remote ID with my serial number. So it's relatively easy. You just add a device. You define if there is or not the remote ID. So yes here. The remote ID broadcast module. So here it's going to be a Pony nine Pony, and you're going to be adding here the serial that is on the side of your device and just adding the device and that's it and you're you're good to go um, that role will be in force starting march next year